Tim Walls of Mankato is now the new governor of Minnesota. The Democrat took the oath at the Fitzgerald Theater in St. Paul, along with four other leaders. As John Croman reports, the emphasis was on diversity and inclusion. Today's inauguration ceremony here at the Fitzgerald Theater reflected the state's growing diversity and the diversity of the constitutional officers that were sworn in. <laughs> A Native American group, the Iron Boy Singers, took the stage twice during the ceremony. Invocations were offered by Rabbi Marsha Zimmerman and Imam Assad Zaman. Keith Ellison became the state's first person of color and first Muslim to serve as Attorney General. And Lieutenant Governor Peggy Flanagan, a member of the White Earth Ojibwe Nation, became the highest ranking Native American executive office holder in the U.S. One Minnesota does not mean that we're all the same. One Minnesota means that we work together across lines of difference to find our shared values and improve people's lives. So let's get to work. Chimi Gwetch, thank you so much for this incredible honor. Others taking the oath today included the new state auditor, Julie Blaha, and Secretary of State Steve Simon, who won a second term in November. Governor Tim Walz has said that erasing racial discrepancies that exist throughout society and in Minnesota is something that he's going to make a major focus of his administration. He's also going to plan to try to do something to lower incarceration rates and discrepancies in the prison system. In St. Paul, I'm John Croman.